So let's talk primer. I have an oil-based primer here. Oil-based is the best if you want to for sure uh, block out tannins, stains, that kind of thing. I don't like working with oil base. Usually DH will just spray my furniture for me and then clean his metal sprayer uh, afterward with mineral spirits. Um, I prefer to work with water base, but in particular for this um, buffet top, I really wanted to lay down a good primer, so we're going to use oil base. Well, I mixed it up. It's kind of, it's got clumpies in it, so I am going to strain it before I use it. So this is a regular old paint strainer. This, I think that's probably a pickle jar. And we're going to strain our paint. I'm going to do it the easy way. Just going to scoop and pour. And that's going to strain all the big bad particles out of it so I don't have to deal with them. That's working pretty good. Often you'll want to also um, use the same method if you're going to uh, spray. Make sure there's no particles, globs, whatever, um, sitting in your sprayer that's going to cause problems. And we'll just let this drain until I get a good amount of paint that I can use. Now make sure that you have really good ventilation if you're going to be using oil-based paint in your house. I suggest you do it out in the garage or outside if possible. I didn't have that option because my piece is really heavy and I need to get this done. Make sure, I mean, this is one of this do as I say, not as I do. Make sure you use a respirator if you're going to be using oil-based paint because you don't want those fumes in your lungs. Just for the sake of doing the video, I'm not going to be wearing one, but I do when I'm working on something that is risky. So we'll give this some time and we'll be painting very soon.